Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blocks Flow. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Roblox game using Roblox Studio. Let's get into the video. Install Roblox Studio. In order to start, you will first and foremost need to download the basic interface required to create any game. Once you have Roblox Studio installed, you're already one step closer to making the game of your dreams. You can translate your imagination in the form of a Roblox world and design game models with the features that will allow you to build the code. The Roblox Studio comes with templates that can be used to start a game, but you can also choose a base plate template to start building the obstacle course. Panels on Roblox Studio There are three main panels that you must take into account. Explorer Panel, Toolbox, and Properties. The Explorer tab is used to see everything that is in the world game, so when you open the workplace, you can see all the things you worked with to build your own world. The Properties tab determines how it should look and how it should act when the game begins. For example, the colors and shapes could be controlled through it. The toolbox can be used to take models that other people have built for the website, and these can help make your Roblox world more realistic. For example, taking a tree from the toolbox to create a forest. Using paths to build models. First of all, select the base plate and turn the size to 20 studs, x2 studs, x20 studs. 2cm will be the depth. Now the base plate is basically the spawn place where the players will arrive when they'll start the game. Change the colors to whatever you want and the surface type to your choice from the properties. You can duplicate the base plate in the explorer bar or press ctrl D and then resize the clone on top of the original base plate using the scale tool. And then you can utilize the move tool to make borders of the base. You can also use the rotate tool in order to turn the border 180 degrees or simply press ctrl R. Now simply choose the spawn square from the module tab and resize it according to your heart's desire. Voila, the spawn area is done. Designing obstacles. Once you're designing the spawn area, let's move ahead and start building our first obstacle. Issue another path of the same height and width of the borders and then separate it from the borders. Move, rotate, select, and scale tools are very helpful when making the obstacles for resizing or rescale the models. Make sure obstacles are anchored if you don't want them to fall into the sky and remain afloat. The color tool can also be used to make the game more visually appealing, and Roblox offers an extensive color palette to choose from. You can then group the separate objects by clicking Ctrl G to group them in one model, which makes moving around easy when designing the final game. Scripting Scripting allows you to bring your paths to life. It allows you to tell the Roblox game to do something and it will do that for you. However, it does require simple coding. All you need to do on your right side is right click on the path and then go to scripts. Roblox uses a special programming language called Lua, which is not very difficult to learn. Once the code is executed, the scripts are supposed to run normally on their own. Scripts are basically the core of the game creation on Roblox Studio. All the games on the site have multiple scripts running at the same time to make the game more invigorating and exciting for the players. Scripts can then be used to give directions to the obstacles to kill, obliterate, promote the players when they come in contact with it. Publishing the game. Once you're done redesigning your Roblox game as hard or easy as you wish to go with the obstacles, the right thing is to publish your game so everyone can enjoy your creativity. The steps to publish are simple. Go to File and select Publish on Roblox, as once you click it, it will load the places you can publish, so click on Create New, name your game, make sure you select the privacy to public, and choose the maximum number of players your game allows at a time. Also, add a snapshot of your game to intrigue the player, see if you want to enable the VIP servers or sell the game. Once everything is selected, click on Create and wait for the game to get uploaded on the site. It will then give you the link that will take you directly to your game on Roblox site, now you can play your own game on Roblox. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.